Hi, I'm Rishika and I'm in the Mahadevapura constituency in Bengaluru today. Ahead of Karnataka Assembly elections 2023, a lot of you had asked us to cover this constituency. So here I am. ahead of elections. Firstly, did you know that it pays the highest amount of property tax to the BBMP? The reason for this remittal is the IT boom in the constituency which has also led to a lot of people moving into the constituency. Some prominent IT parks, shopping malls, pubs, restaurants belong to this constituency. But are there issues of voters that are hiding behind this glamour? I'm going to go talk to voters in this constituency in different areas today. Let's find out. ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮಳೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ನೀರು ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಳುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಪರ್ಕ ಎತ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊಳ್ಳೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮಕ್ಳು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಇದಾಗ್ತೈತೆ ಹಾಂ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಏನೂ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲಸ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೊನ್ನೆ ಸರಿ ಮಳೆ ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಫುಲ್ಲು ತುಂಬಿಕೊಂಡಿತ್ತು ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟಾಗಿ ಬಂದರು ಅವರು ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟಾಗಿ ಬಂದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ಸೋದಾಗಲಿ ಆ ಚೇಂಬರ್ ಇದು ಮಾಡಿಸೋದಾಗಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ರು ಅವರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ Constituency No. 174, Mahadevapura is one of the biggest constituencies within Bengaluru. With 14 wards, it covers an area of 244 square kilometers. Mahadevapura has a high number of voters. With over 6 lakh voters, this constituency has the second highest number of voters in the state, the top slot being claimed by Bangalore South constituency. Arvind Limbavali has been the sitting MLA of this constituency since 2008. But this time around, the BJP has given his wife Manjula Limbavali a ticket instead. I got a chance to talk to the BJP candidate during my visit to the constituency. Despite being a fresh face in politics, Manjula is confident that the voters in this constituency know that she is the right candidate for them. Ma'am, why should voters vote for you since your you know, husband was three-time MLA but you are a fresh face? From 2008 till now, I did campaigning. I was down to heart. See, and I know the problems what our uh, Mahadevpura constituency are facing and what the development was going on. I was behind my husband. So definitely I know that what is going on and all our leaders and karyakartas, even our voters know me well. And I have my husband's support and even he's telling what to do. This is H. Nagesh from the Indian National Congress who will be contesting against Manjula Limbavali. While this constituency has supported the BJP for over a decade, Nagesh and his supporters strongly believe that the voters in Mahadevapura zone now want to change. They should vote for me for uh, development activities as per their expectation and then infrastructure uh, facility providing uh, so bypasses, underpasses and then uh, flyovers where required to control to uh, for uh, traffic regulation and water logging and all that problem also should be solved and these drains and all are covered fully are encroached that has to be restored back to normalcy so that water flows and there there won't be any log uh, water logging or flooding the population of this constituency has grown exponentially over the past few years from a little over 2 lakh voters back in 2008, the constituency now has more than 6 lakh voters. But does the power of the ballot translate to better services for the people here? When it started to rain in Bengaluru on the 4th of September 2022, the flooding and the waterlogging that followed in some areas of Mahadevapura became the focus of the national media. From famed IT parks to migrant camps, everyone bore the brunt of waterlogging. It was the first time that Bengaluru had seen such a collapse in infrastructure. The planning and construction of stormwater drains and encroachments had a major role to play. This is Ravi. He has been a resident of Vartur situated in the eastern periphery of Bengaluru since birth. In fact, this area also comes under the Mahadevapura constituency. He hadn't imagined the destruction that was to follow after heavy rains last year. His house collapsed due to the floods, leaving him and his family distressed. <laughs> Pulla ke mana bidoi tu. Awak awak maklum, mari keluar, yang lain tu, 
ಆಚೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲನೂ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಔಟು ರವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈಲ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ರೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೋರ್ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ನಿಂಬಳಿ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಅದು ಕೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಅವರು ಹ್ಞೂ ಅಂದರು ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸೈಲೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ತಲೆಗೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಾಕೊತ ಇಲ್ಲ ರವಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸಫರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಡ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟೇಲ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಉದ್ದ ಬಂದಿತ್ತಣ್ಣ ಮೊಣಕಾಲಷ್ಟು ಉದ್ದ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಮೋರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಫುಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೀರು ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ನೀರು ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಹ್ಞೂ ಎತ್ತಟ್ಟಿದ್ವಿ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಮಾಡೋಣ ನಾವು ಬಂದಂಗಿದ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಇದೆ ಏನು ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಏನು ನೋಡಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಹಾಂ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಮಳೆ ನೀರು ಬಂದರೆ ಈಗ ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ ಸೆ ಇಸ್ರಾಮ್ ನೋ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಳಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ಇದು ಇಸ್ರಾಮಗ ಆ ಕಾಲುವೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕಾಲುವೆ ಅದು ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಹ್ಞೂ ಇವಾಗ ಮೇನ್ ರೋಡ್ ನೀರು ಈ ನೀರೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿ ಅವ್ರ ಮನೆ ಇಶು ತುಂಬ್ಕೊಂತದೆ ದಿ ಇಶೂ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಲಾಗಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೋ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯುವೆನ್ಸಿ ಬಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೌಡೆಡ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಕಾರಿಡೋರ್ಸ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಈಕೋ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬೆಲ್ಲಂದೂರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಲಾಗಿಂಗ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ so i work in hsr layout so i will have to travel through uh, eco space kadu bisnalli underpass all these areas so we were like planning to buy a boat yeah the most important damage i am getting from this traffic is that i am getting delayed because of the traffic and i am getting some shit from my manager <laughs> that's the only big problem i am facing normally it usually takes me 30 minutes to go to home but when it rains it takes like 1 hour 1 and a half hour to go home, home like this and uh, uh, last year when i came uh, the rain was so high at that time that uh, my like this area got completely flooded we were not able to even uh, go to our offices like uh, we used to carry other clothes for to go for office with monsoons around the corner will the apathy in clearing the illegal encroachment sink the bjp vote this year's monsoon is barely a month away the election result will be a litmus test for the bjp The story is a little different in Hudi Junction in Mahadevapura zone. While people in other areas told me that they have no other issues apart from water logging during rains, people near Hudi Circle get Kaveri water just once a week for 2 hours. They've got to manage drinking, cooking and bathing from the same amount of water. In the Karagori plantation in Dinnur in Mahadevapura zone, residents are apprehensive about the construction around the Whitefield Metro. A depot and two stations connected to the metro have been built in the plantation. As people slowly see their land being taken away for projects like these, they fear having no roof to live under as they struggle to get property papers from authorities. ಈಗ 2021 ಗೆ ಅಕ್ವೈರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಇದು 41 48 ಎಕರ್ಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ. ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋರೆಲ್ಲ ದಲಿತರು ಅನ್ನ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ. ಅದೇ ಬೇರೆಯವರು ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಿಲ್ವಾ? ಈಗ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ರೆಡ್ಡಿಸ್ ಗೋಡಾಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ದಲಿತರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕೇವಲ ನಾ ಈ ಸರ್ಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ While there is an AAP candidate CR Nataraj also in the fray the real neck to neck competition is between Manjula Limbavali and H Nagesh Karnataka goes to polls on May 10 and the counting is slated for May 13 with camera person Karthik Govardhan Vishaka Kashyap for Deccan Herald